Hey everyone, my name is Fernando Limas. I'm a professional drummer and a music producer here at FL Recordings. A question that I get pretty frequently is, how do I go about publishing my music online without having to manage a million different accounts? The answer is DistroKid. With DistroKid, you're able to upload your music to online platforms and streaming services. With other sites, you typically have to pay per album or per song, then you have to wait weeks for those songs to go live to the world. With DistroKid, it's just a matter of days, and you can upload unlimited songs. The best part is you keep 100% of the royalties and get paid every month. Click my VIP link in the description below and get a 7% discount on your first year. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys just how easy it is to do this. So, now that you're on the DistroKid website, we're going to go ahead and go to sign up. Here's going to be a lot of the information of all the stores that they will put your music on. A lot of what I already talked about, which was you keep 100% of the royalties and get paid monthly. You're in stores a lot faster than everyone else. And you pay just under 20 bucks for a yearly subscription. You get to upload as many songs and albums as you want. So once you've signed up for an account and picked a plan that works for you, we're going to go ahead and go to upload. And then you're going to toggle which stores you do and don't want your music to go live to. Say you want to do a time release and sell your music for the first week or two. You can deselect the streaming platforms and it'll go live to everything else. Then a week or two later you can come back to this page, click those, and then DistroKid will go ahead and push it live to those platforms as well. So next we're going to pick the number of songs that you have. If you're doing a single, pick a single. If you're going to do an album, pick however many songs you have. Has this song been previously released? I'm going to go ahead and click no. So here's where you're going to put your artist name. This is very important. This is just for you. This isn't for a bunch of features or any people that you might be working with. This is strictly just you. So I went ahead and put my name in there. And guess what? Since I'm already online with that most recent cover, my Spotify and Apple Music already were found. So if that is me, Yes, that is me. So that will ensure that all the music that I upload goes under the same artist on these platforms. Release date, you can pick when you want to release it. Do you want to do pre-orders? In the case of this one, no, I just want to publish it. You might want to build the hype and get some interest in it going, so you'll go ahead and click yes or no if that applies to you. Now, record label. This is something that's available on the second tier plan and up, where you can actually pick a record label name. You don't have to actually have one. You can just make one up. So for me, I just went ahead and did FL Recordings uh, to keep everything under my studio. Next, you're going to pick the album artwork. And this is very important. It has to be at least 3,000 by 3,000. And the reason for that is once this goes to other platforms, if it doesn't look good, or if you upsize a blurry image to fit this criteria, they're going to reject it. So make sure that your artwork is good and high definition. That way you don't run into any problems while you're trying to upload this. So English, uh, primary genre, we're going to go with metal. Since this is a metal track that I'm going to be uploading. Okay, so next up is the song title. This is where you can put the features, but make sure you don't use a bunch of names that you don't actually work with. So this one, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys with people equal shit. Choose audio file. So here I'm going to go ahead and go to my folder where this song is, select the song, and choose it. And it's as easy as that. So songwriter, I wrote the song, or I managed the songwriter, or another artist wrote the song, it's a cover song. Since this is a cover song, you cannot use or sample the original music, but you can re-record it and publish it, and they will secure a license for you for just a dollar a month, or twelve dollars a year. And then here you're gonna put the original artist, so that was Slipknot, and the original song title, same song title. And then you just have to check this box to verify that it is not sampling the original music by any means. Uh, explicit lyrics, yes. Instrumental, no. This song has vocals on it. Uh, review clip start time. So this is for TikTok, Instagram, things like that. You can let them pick where you want the song to start or you can manage it yourself. So say you want to do it on the chorus and you know what time the chorus starts at. You go ahead and just select this and you can change the time of when the song preview will start. Here we're going to pick the price. Uh, so let's just do 99 cents. That's a pretty standard price for a single nowadays. Uh, and these are all extras. They're optional but they are extra. Uh, so the Instagram and Facebook feature, that one is free. So go ahead and click that. YouTube money. What I've gathered, it basically means that they are going to sift through YouTube using their content ID systems to make sure that if anybody else is using your songs or music that you are the one getting the money for it. So you can select that if you want it or not. Store maximizer. 
say a new platform comes out, you're basically future-proofing yourself with this option. DistroKid will go ahead and push your music to those new platforms, that way you were never left out or behind the curve when new streaming platforms or music platforms get announced. Shazam and iPhone Siri. So, I really like this feature because if your song ever gets played in, say, like a coffee shop or a restaurant and somebody really wants to know it, they can Shazam it on their phone and your song pops up. It's a really cool feature. I would definitely recommend that one and it's just a dollar a year, so it's super good. Uh, Leave a Legacy. This one is pretty hardcore. <laughs> so, they will continue to keep your music online even after your DistroKid account lapses and even if you die. So this is a great way to future-proof if you have a hit song and loved ones that you want to ensure that they're taken care of. DistroKid will go ahead and secure that for you for this one-time fee. And then cover song license. Since this is a cover song, I've gone ahead and done the $12 for a year licensing. That way I can get all the permissions I need taken care of for this single. These are all important. You're going to have to go through and review all of these and make sure that you are abiding by all of DistroKid's rules and you're not going to be asking why they did things when you're the one that read them and did all this setup. Uh, and then that's it. You just select done and DistroKid gets to work on publishing your music to all these platforms. You just sit back and wait. And the coolest part is that if you sign up for these higher tier accounts, They'll have stats and things that you can keep track of to see how your material is doing. And it's as easy as that. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys like this video and I hope it helps some of you. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment them below and I'll try to answer them the best I can. If you like my content or my channel, please be sure to head over to my website, flrecordings.com. Just share a video, pick up a t-shirt, get some drumsticks, drum heads. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.